So, you have a new play for me? Yes, sir, I do. In fact, it is going to be regarded as the most brilliant piece of literature, like, ever. Okay, and what is this play called? The Tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. Wait a minute, didn't you have a kid named Hamlet? Yeah, he died. Your play is about a dying kid? Hey, shut up, no. It's about a guy who wants to take revenge on his uncle for killing his father and marrying his mother. So, does he? Well, he spends the entire play thinking about it. Sounds fun. Do you think you could fit any more action into it? Well, I have a sword fight at the end. Between who? Hamlet and his girlfriend's brother, Laertes. Ooh, what's his beef? Hamlet kills his father, Polonius, and drives his sister, Ophelia, so crazy that she literally drowns herself. He also kills Laertes in this sword fight. So, Hamlet is the bad guy? No, he's the good guy, because half the time he doesn't mean to kill anyone. Oopsie. Yeah, oopsie. For example, Polonius was hiding behind a curtain. Oopsie. And obviously, Hamlet can't open a curtain first to ensure that he's killing the right person. Makes perfect sense to me. So anyway, there are these guys called Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Rosie and what? They're his OG friends. After being told what his uncle did by the ghost of Hamlet's dead father, Hamlet starts acting all crazy. So his uncle gets Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to keep an eye on him. Ooh, keeping an eye on crazy people is tight. So there's gonna be another play inside the play. Aren't we already watching one? No, see, Hamlet has a company of actors basically act out the murder of his father while his uncle's in the audience. Why does he do that? To see if his uncle is guilty or not. So he doesn't trust his dead father's ghost? Unclear, so he ends up traveling to England with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, but then they're intercepted by pirates. Uh-oh, I bet they don't escape the pirates. Actually, it'll be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Maybe we could get a bit more sword fighting in there? No, they're nice pirates, I decided. They even give Hamlet a ride back to Denmark. But you don't get to see any of that, because I'm just going to read a letter that says that on stage, I decided. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. And Hamlet forges a letter to the king telling him to kill Aunt Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. And you're sure Hamlet's not the bad guy? Listen, I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about Hamlet being the bad guy. Well, okay then. And also, Hamlet considers killing himself. Oh my god. Yeah, but I wrote it so you don't actually know if he's considering killing himself or not. It'll give scholars something to think about for a few years. What's supposedly the reason he doesn't kill himself? Get this. Death is scary. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah. Sounds great, but there's just one thing. What? My pet monkeys have already written this, and they've been working on this for a long time. Oh, holy shimaluga. Ham knit. Oh, ham! I thought it was hand knit. Hamlet and his girlfriend's brother. Lair. <laughs> Hamlet and his girlfriend's brother. Laudius. Hamlet and his girlfriend's mother. Well, this brother. <laughs> that would be a different play. Laertes. <laughs> Laertes. Okay. Okay. Now fix your shirt because I see your uh, Christmas Oops. pajamas coming through. <laughs> Rosencrass and Gildernstein. Oh my god. <laughs>